In this video, I will flip the jaws around on the three jaw chuck and the big lathe in my shop. So each jaw is held down by two screws, two Allen cap screws. So I had to grab my three eighths Allen, Allen socket. Usually you would have an Allen pack perhaps with the Allen key wrench, but thankfully I have the socket with the ratchet. And these are, they're not a press fit, onto the chuck let's call it a snug fit each jaw is a snug fit and it's held in by a horizontal mating piece and then two vertical pieces that straddle the two vertical pieces on each jaw so every time i take a jaw off and flip it around i inevitably have to clean up the area which i'm doing here with the rag and then also clean up the mating surface on the jaw just to make sure when I go to hold it back on a place and smack it on in the opposite position that it's going to seat all the way flat against the mating surface on the chuck. Now when you're flipping the jaw around, what you may notice if you ever happen to do this on a lathe is that the two screws you take out, they're, e they're different lengths. So you're going to want to take the screw that is longer and put it in the opposite hole because when you flip the jaw around the thicker part of the jaw will now be over the opposite hole as you see here so at first i didn't quite have it seated correctly so i had to retry because again it's a very snug fit so you're going to want to make sure you get it all lined up and then smack it on because you could be if you're off by even a little bit if it's cocked a little at a weird angle it's not going to go on no matter how hard you smack it. And I'll start the bolts by hand, and then I'll get the ratchet. And then you can even twist the socket if you're able to do that. And then I will go at it with the ratchet, never with the impact. At least I'm not brave enough to potentially mess the threads up on these screws, because these screws are very hard to come by, at least in my shop. And... I don't think they carry these at your local Home Depot or Lowe's, these Allen cap screws. They might, but I haven't seen them. So we're getting these both tight, and I'm going to evenly tighten each screw back and forth just to make sure the jaw is seated flat against the face of the chuck. And then I can move on to the second and third one, and the process will be the same. And here, not pictured, I have my foot on the brake, the foot brake down below at the bottom of the lathe. That way the chuck doesn't spin when I go to loosen these bolts to take off the jaws. And then as well, I will put my foot on the brake when I go to tighten. So I don't want the chuck to spin when I'm trying to tighten the bolts to hold down each jaw. Because I definitely, for safety purposes and for the piece not getting screwed up, I do not want these jaws flying off at high RPM, especially when I'm right nearby operating this manual lathe. So I'll do the same. You see, with I'm only hitting it with a soft hammer. I do not want to use a steel hammer and damage these surfaces on these jaws. I want to keep them looking nice and in good condition for as long as possible. So I'll just use the soft hammer, rubber mallet, whatever you got lying around that's not going to damage these jaws or beat them up. You don't want to do that. This, this lays are, are something to treat with, with respect and care. And once I got all three jaws flipped around, I will give it a test run. You don't have to do this. I just like to do it just to make sure each jaw is tight. And there's going to be no issues with that. Okay, so I have the jaws flipped around, but as you can see, my piece only goes into, I guess, the, the middle section of the jaws when they're flipped around. I wanted to put them on the outer section where the jaws aren't as recessed, or that gap's not as recessed so that the piece sticks out further and I can uh, face it. But when you close the jaws to their max close position these these outer sections don't 
close in close enough to even grab the piece, so I can't do that. So, on the middle section of each jaw, I can grab it, which is fine, but the jaws themselves stick out this so far, they actually can't even machine it at all. I can only, you know, bore out the center section, but I have to face it first before I do bore out the center section for the, um, the other piece of steel that I'll, I'll press it in there. Um, but yeah, I can't even get the turning tool because it, it would just, it would, it would hit the uh, outer part of the jaw. So, all this was for naught, but what do you know? I figured it, figured out something. Um, so I'll just have to take this material out, go to the small lathe, flip those jaws around, and be able to chuck it up there and machine it.